serious about space? So is Volkswagen's Caravelle. In contrast to the largest conventional MPVs on the market, it'll not only take seven people, but all their luggage too, thanks to commercial origins refined by decades of development that have created a quality, car-like feel for driver and passengers alike. This sixth-generation version is smarter, safer, more efficient and better connected. Ultimately, though, the reason you'd buy one hasn't much changed. Namely, that there isn't much that can do what a Caravelle can. Now, you want to know whether it drives like a car-like MPV or a van-like minibus, so let's get that out of the way right up front. The on-road experience is somewhere between the two, though your reaction to that might be more positive if you're not up to speed with just how dynamically adept the latest generation of large vans really are. In this short wheelbase version, parking and urban manoeuvring is easier than you might expect it to be in a vehicle this large, uh, thanks to the commanding driving position and the glassy cabin. The lengthier, long wheelbase body style might be more challenging though. Uh, you won't have the option of ordering that larger model if you choose to pay extra for the improved four-motion four-wheel drive system that offers up even more ways to use this very versatile vehicle. Under the bonnet, though this T6 generation Caravelle was launched with a 2.0-litre TSI petrol option, almost all buyers will continue to specify their cars with a 2.0-litre TDI diesel. And as before, there's a choice of either single or twin turbo installations. For this Mark VI model, both units have been upgraded, so the base variant puts out 150 PS, while at the top of the range, the uh, by tdi power plant we're trying here now manages 204 PS. We think that the 2.0-litre TDI 100 50 PS derivative will be quite sufficient for most buyers, particularly since it's now so efficient. In a manual model, you'll manage 45.6 miles per gallon on the combined cycle and 161 grams per kilometre of CO2. And you can do even better than that if you opt for the um, seven-speed DSG auto gearbox that we're trying here. There's something a little more upmarket about a Caravelle, a uh, class and quality that marks it out from mainstream brand rivals. Visual updates to this T6 generation model include restyled headlights with optional LED illumination. But, of course, what really matters is found inside. And what you get is a now redesigned three-person rear bench right at the very back and two single chairs in the middle that will usually be swivelled around to face it so that passengers can talk directly to each other rather than to the back of people's heads. Uh, the front seats can optionally be turned to face those at the rear too and all models have a natty multifunction table that clips in and out of the floor and sits between the second and third rows. Whether the plan is for an impromptu business meeting on the M1 or whether it's just about keeping the kids quiet on the way to your weekend holiday cottage, these are features that really do make a huge difference to the way this car can be used. Versatility that's further aided by these four uh, floor-mounted rails. These enable the various rear seats to slide into just about any position you want, depending on the vehicle application that you have in mind and the amount of people carrying or packaging space that you're likely to need. Uh, you'll have a bit more flexibility when it comes to doing that if you opt for the long wheelbase body style. That variant, which is only available to two-wheel drive diesel customers, adds 20 millimetres more roof height and another 400 millimetres to the length. And luggage space? Well, this is where a super large people carry like this comes into its own. With a conventional car-like large MPV, if all seven seats are occupied, then it's unlikely that you'll also have enough space for everyone's luggage. With a Caravelle, it's different. Once you've negotiated the lifting of this huge rear tailgate, something you'll need to have left plenty of space behind the vehicle in order to be able to raise, the cargo capacity with all the seats in use is about, well, double the amount that you get in a similar scenario with a large MPV, say like with Volkswagen's own Sharan. And at the wheel, well, you certainly sit high up to the point where there's a feeling of sitting on top of the car rather than in it. For sure, this is a commanding perch. The main interior change made to this T6 generation model relates to infotainment connectivity. All models get a 5-inch composition colour touchscreen that controls an 8-speaker DAB Plus audio system. 
And in summary, well, you will of course need to be part of a very big family or a very mobile business in order to fully justify Caravelle ownership. But if you can, then the conquest of space can start very comfortably at the wheel of one of these.